Okay, now for question number four from the P1 mock exam that I made uh, for my students in 2019. Here we have a <coughs> figure three shows a, the sketch or a sketch of the curve C, this part here, with the equation y equals 3x minus 2 root x, where x must be greater than or equal to zero. So it doesn't continue on this side because x can't be negative, otherwise this would be undefined. You can't have the square of a negative number. And the line L has equation y equals 8x minus 16. So the line L has equation y equals 8x minus 16. And the curve C has equation y equals 3x minus 2 times root x. Okay, now, the line cuts the curve at the point, at, at point A as shown. That's where they intersect. Okay. Um, using algebra, find the x-coordinate of the point A. Okay, so we've got to find the x-coordinate of the point A. They only want the x-coordinate in this part of the question. So what we need to do is solve these two equations simultaneously. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've got two equations. I've got y equals 3x minus 2 times root x. I've also got y equals 8x minus 16. Now the simplest way to solve this is to, to just basically make them equal to each other. Okay, so I can say um, 8x minus 16 is equal to 3x minus 2 times root x. Okay, to solve this equation here, uh, what I can do is, you see, let me just, let me just uh, bring everything on one side. I'm going to have 5x plus 2 root x minus 16 equals 0. Okay, what I can do is I can say, okay, this is an equation. I've got something like here, x to the power of half or the square root of x. I don't want the square root of x. Okay, it doesn't look too familiar to me here. So what I'll do is I'll say let, let me choose another variable, for example, let u. Let u equals the square root of x. That means u squared is going to be x. So everywhere I see x, I can replace with u squared. So x will be u squared. So 5x will become um, 5u squared. And everywhere I see the square root of x, I can replace it with u. Plus 2 times u and minus 16 equals 0. So now I have an equation which looks familiar, like it looks like it's a quadratic equation. Okay, it looks like it's a quadratic equation. And I can solve it. I can find the values of u. Then I can say what x will be once I've done that. So let's now try to solve this equation. It seems to me that you can factorize it from the wording of the question. Okay, because normally it would say find the exact value of the point A or find the, val of, uh, find the x value um, rounded to certain decimal places. Well, it doesn't say anything like that. So I'm, g I'm guessing we can factorize. So let's try and factorize. So I'll make my window. This is one where you have to split the middle term so I'm going to do it in my way so <coughs> I know that these two numbers multiplied to give me 5u squared and these two numbers multiplied to give me minus well 16 and I've got to find two numbers um, these two numbers I know they multiply to give me the same as these two numbers so they multiply to give me minus 80 u squared 550 plus 30 that's right that's the product and I know the sum of those two numbers must be the same as this number here which is plus 2u Okay, I think we got it straight away. 10 and 8. Okay, uh, must be plus 10u and minus 8u. Those will multiply to give me minus 80u squared and they will add together to give me plus 2u. So now I'm going to take out the common factor of these two terms and write it here, which is just u. And from these two terms and write it here, well, that's 5u. Then I say to myself, u times this gives me minus 8u. That's minus 4. Minus 8, sorry. Minus 4. Okay, and 5u times something gives me plus 10. Well, that's plus 2. That's 10u, right? And just check, minus 8 times plus 2 gives you minus 16. That's right. Okay, so now I've, I've factorized it. I've got 5u minus 8. And u plus 2 is equal to 0. So from this particular equation, I have two solutions. I have u is equal to 8 over 5. And u is equal to negative 2. So, if we solve the equation now, first of all, we know that there's only one solution. There's only one place 
where they intersect. So there's going to be one of these solutions which we have to reject and you'll see what will make us reject it. So u is equal to root x and x is equal to u squared. All right. So if um, you've got 8 over 5, so we can say root x is equal to 8 over 5. Root x, the square root of x is equal to 8 over 5 and the square root of x is equal to negative 2. Now this is not possible because when you write the square root of x what you mean is the positive square root of x. Okay, you mean the positive square root of x. So this is um, undefined. You can't have, you can't say that the positive square root of x is minus 2. Okay, so uh, therefore this is undefined. Okay, so the positive square root of x can never be minus 2. The square root of x is equal to 8 over 5. The square root of a number must always be, the positive square root of a number must always be positive. This is what this means. It's, if it says plus or minus, then you can say, you know, plus or minus 2. But here it just says plus. It's just, when it doesn't say anything, it means it's just plus root x. So here root x equals 8 over 5. How do we find what x is? Well, we've got to get rid of the square root by squaring both sides. So we square both sides and we end up with x is equal to 64 over 25. And that's the answer for this question is just saying using algebra find the x coordinate of the point A. So that's part A done. 64 over 25. Now part B, okay, it says the region R is shown unshaded in figure 4. Identify the inequalities that define R. Okay, so we know our equation of our line was the 8xy equals 8x minus 16. So this is y equals 8x minus 16. And we know the equation of our curve was y equals 3x minus 2 root x. So you have y equals 3x minus 2 root x. Okay. And the region R is shown unshaded in figure 4. Identify the inequalities that, that define R. All right. You also have another line here. This is x equals something. Now this line, you can see this line here. All right. It passes through the x-axis at the same place where this curve passes through the x-axis. So for us to define this region, we need to know what the equation of this line is because we can say that the region is where x is greater than that value. So we need to first find what that line is. So we need to know where does 3x minus 2 root x hit the x-axis. It hits the x-axis when y is 0. This is the line y equals 0, right? So it hits the x-axis when y is 0. So we've got to solve this equation here. Okay, so you have a 3x minus 2 root x equals 0. Um, so we can do a similar thing. We can say let u equals the square root of x, in which case you're going to get 3u squared, because x will therefore be u squared, um, minus 2u is equal to 0. So if you take out the common factor of u, you've got 3u um, minus 2 equals 0. So you have u equals 0 and u equals 2 thirds. Okay, so now... <clears throat> And remember x is equal to u squared so x is equal to u squared so of course we know when u is 0 x is 0 we know that point anyway passes through the origin we're interested in this other point when u is equal to 2 thirds so when x when u is equal to 2 thirds x is going to be 4 over 9 so that is the equation of this line here this is the equation x equals 4 over 9 any line that's vertical passing through the y-axis okay it's going to have the equation x equals whatever value it passes through the the x-axis x-axis all right so a vertical line passing through the x-axis will always be x equals that value horizontal line passing through the y-axis will always be y equals that value that it passes through so this is x equals 4 over 9. now we have to now define this region okay um here um, that is bounded by these lines and this curve so of course we can see that the region r all right the x values here are bigger than 4 over 9 and all the x values here are bigger than 4 over 9 it's to the right of this line so it's where x is greater than or equal to 4 over 9 that's one of the inequalities okay the other one is we got y on one side we got 8x minus 16 on the other side we've got to decide decide what's where uh, which direction to put the line the inequality sign and we also got the curve y and we got 2x minus 2 times root x 
Okay, so for the line uh, y equals 8x minus 16, we can see the region R is above the line. Okay, and it's a dotted line, so it's going to be greater than. All right, now that, wor that rule works in all cases when you have y on the left side of the equation and you have y as a positive um, coefficient. It will always be, if it's above the line, it's going to be, you're going to write greater than. If it's below the line, you're going to put less than. Okay, here we're going to put greater than and not equal to because it's dotted. Um, but there's another way to check also if you want to. You can say, okay, let's choose a point that is in the required region. For example, the origin. That's an easy point to ch choose. The origin is over here. That's an easy point. That The coordinates of the origin are 0, 0. Let's substitute the values of x and y from the origin into here and see what happens. So you got y and you have 8x minus 16. So if you put 0 instead of y, you're going to have 0 here. You put 0 instead of x, you're going to have 8 times 0, which is 0. You're going to have minus 16. You say, okay, 0 is greater than minus 16. So I know I have to put the greater than sign between them because the origin is on the same side of the line as that required region. So it's going to be greater than. That's another way of doing it. And for the curve, again, we can use the same method I mentioned first. It's below, the region is below the line, and the, the line is a dotted, is a solid line, so it's going to be less than here and or equal to. And uh, we could, I guess, choose some points. Um, we can't choose any point on the line, so I can't choose the origin, but yeah, you could choose, try to choose a point that you know for sure is, um, um, say, not in the, the, in the required region. Okay, because this is above or below, we can choose a point down here somewhere. That's going to be a lot of hassle. That's basically the answer. But if you wanted to, for example, you could choose a point that you know for sure is not in the region because that's easy to decide. For example, the point zero one. Zero one is definitely not in our region. So that should make the inequality false. If it makes inequality false for this curve, then it means then the, 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 you have to put the opposite sign. So let's see what happens with zero one just to to see what happens, we're going to have 0, 1, so the y value is 1, the x value is 0, so you're going to have 1, and here you're going to have 0 and 0, so you're going to have, have there, 1 is greater than 0, so the point 0, 1 is in the region where it's um, y is greater than 2x minus 2 root x, so anything on the other side is going to be where it's less than, so yeah, that works out. But you don't really need to go through that polar, you can just see from the equation of the curve, okay, if it's below the curve, if it's below the equation, you put less than, it's above, you put greater than, as long as the y term is on the left and it has a positive coefficient, okay? So here we have the answer, I'll just leave the answers on this side over here, the answer to part B. So to, to solve part B fully, we had to first find the equation of this line in order to fully describe that region. And there we have the end of that question.